Hi, my name is Lisa Jefferson, and I will be presenting on my paper titled The Origins of Shame and How to Confront It. What is shame? Shame is a negative emotion and a debilitating feeling of guilt, humiliation, and regret, often associated with depression, grief, anxiety, eating disorders, addictions, and sometimes violence. Dr. Bryn Brown defines shame as the intensely painful feeling or experience of believing we are flawed and therefore unworthy of acceptance and belonging. Unlike guilt, shame targets who a person is and not what they do, which convinces the sufferer that he or she is inadequate. A study conducted by a team of psychologists led by the Aldrich Alt of the University of Bren studied shame in more than 2,600 volunteers between the ages of 13 and 89 and found that adolescents are more prone to the feelings of shame, but adults also deal with shame. Dr. Bryn Brown states, Shame is caused by unconsciousness of wrongdoing or bad behavior and is often brought on by other people's opinions of oneself. Therefore, shame can be developed in adulthood and be brought on by negative self-awareness, self-blame, and low self-esteem. Dr. Brown further explains Shame can be caused by many things, childhood trauma, negative self-image, low self-esteem, societal beliefs, and expectations from others. Shame creates feelings of fear, blame, disconnect, whether you are a man or a woman. Making shame the most hazardous emotion because it causes a person to condemn themselves, rendering one socially, mentally, and most importantly, spiritually crippled. Because shame creates feelings of unworthiness, never being good enough, anxiety, isolation, and depression can be detrimental to a person's well-being. Dr. Bren highlights this dysfunctional truth by stating that people who don't recognize they have a problem go against shame, trying to be overly aggressive, or they move away from shame by hiding, keeping secrets, or staying silent. This fact alone can make treating shame difficult, but there are ways to get through fearful blockages, and help those who suffer from this horrible emotion become pain-free. Psalms 34, 4 and 5 says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. We have discussed what shame causes in a person. It causes them to feel less than unworthy and inadequate. So how do we confront shame? There are many proven methods that have helped combat shame. Cognitive behavioral therapy, cognitive processing therapy, stress inoculation training, and eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. These are different types of therapy that can be used to address issues of shame. Because CBT helps people understand the connection between their thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, CBC, CBT is thought to be one of the best methods when treating a person dealing with shame. Dr. Hazmat, PhD, says, Taking responsibility for shame is the first step to coping. The second step is to alter the standards that has been adhered to. The third step is to avoid the cycle of self-blame. 
the final step is to confess. In confession, we go to others to tell them about the events that's caused our shame. Confession is associated with the concept of forgiveness and love. It serves as a way of dissolving shame through the act of redemption. 1 John 1 and 9 reiterates, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you are one who can help someone confront shame, how do you do it? How do you help someone confront shame? Well, here are a few do's and don'ts. Do encourage the person to self-reflect. Do encourage the person to confess the events that's caused the shame. Do encourage them to alter their personal standards. Do encourage them to refrain from using self-blame and sabotaging self-talk. Do encourage them to share their personal testimony. Those are the do's. So, if you're helping someone confront shame, you want to avoid aggressive tactics that triggers trauma. Avoid expressing a lack of empathy for the person who's dealing with shame. And finally, avoid making the sufferer feel like they are to blame. Thank you for listening.